Thank God. Okay. Yeah. So this is a new this is a new recording session. Um. And good lord, that took f that that is way too difficult for this early on in the game. Like they they really should have ironed out something with the um the drift because it just. It doesn't work well enough though. I'm going to turn on my mic because I don't know if it's loud enough per se. <laughs> um, I'm going to assume that's good. Should check this before doing that, but um, yeah. Uh, now that we're done with that though, we can not go up there. But I do know that there's a third act. Uh, I don't know if we. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's very easy to accidentally hit the hourglass, which is a bit annoying. Let's change back, please. One thing, f one thing of note is that um, the 360 version has a, tr a transformation cutscene um, with... Um, so, uh, Sonic turning to wear into Werehog form, or turning back into normal Sonic. Whereas this version, you just all you get is the Sun and, Sun and Moon medal spinning around, which is kind of lame. But uh, part of me feels that they did that because this game, I think, I think has longer load times. Or this version, don't quote me on that, but I think that's the case. Um, so I guess. Using the metal is easier to uh, do instead of <laughs> having a cutscene play and then having to wait like even longer than that. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I've, I'm supposed to come back here with the wall jump, but I feel like I can cheese it somehow. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's totally doable. Also gotta remember like I need to get so many rings, like looking back at the other parts. Um there we go. Looking back at the other parts, um I I didn't realize I like I didn't realise you needed so many rings in this game before, but if you wanna get all the collectibles and buy one of the uh at least every type of the food of uh each food once. You're gonna have to fork up a decent amount of cash, um, and that's interesting because I didn't actually know that until now. I see why they wanted me to get the wall jump because, uh, yeah, some of this stuff you're not really supposed to do without it. We'll 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 make do. We'll see if we can actually make it work for us. But um, there we go. This is. Definitely not ideal. <laughs> so if it uh, if it comes down to it, we'll come back to this for later. But I believe they usually let you if you can access a level, they usually let you at least finish it, even if you don't have like all the upgrades. But yeah, this is a type of stage that gets used quite often in this game for the extra stages, which is basically. Um, oh, I mean, they expect you to have the light speed dash too. Yeah, I suppose. At least I got all the medals. Uh, I suppose this would this would be better to go uh, do this later, but um, I do remember finishing this early on, early in the game before, so uh, we'll just try and find the right paths. So don't don't have to worry, I guess. Uh, but yeah, there's quite a few extra stages in this game that require, well not require, but, um, that are basically big loops in a 2D section, usually, um, that get gradually more and more difficult. Like, you go, like, I think around, like, three laps or so. There we go. Um, and, yeah, they just add more, more and more obstacles, more and more, um, things to jump over and all that good stuff. Um, and I, 
they're, they're fun challenges and reward your reflexes and whatnot. Alright. And it's also nice to see the stage in sunset. Um, so I, I like how some of these stages are like on the cusp of turning Sonic into the Werehog, <laughs> but it's just not quite. So it's still it can still be a day stage. I find that kind of funny. And also sunset stages are just inherently gorgeous. So you can't go wrong. Um, I do appreciate that there are there's more visual variety than just stray uh, day and night and no like in between. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why you're showing me this. <laughs> um, I played that stage already. But yeah, um, similar to Apatos, there's actually only one extra night stage here. Um, but thankfully, it's a lot more interesting than the one in Apatos. Um, Windmill Isle act uh, Night Act 2, um, that might be my least favourite night stage overall. Um, like, when we're talking about, like, regular night stages for game complete, for, like, to get to the final boss, I still want to say the Missouri one is my least favourite. I have more fondness of it now, um, after, after thinking about it a lot more but in terms of just night stages in general like full package um yeah the extra state the extra night stage in abatos is probably my least favorite because it's literally just a a big circular room open all like all the doors around you um and all that does is act activate more enemy spawns and you just keep doing that until you find the the keys to open like the one door to get to the titan and then that's just just the end of the stage that's kind of lame honestly and not the most interesting um and as someone who really enjoys the werehog like i've said in like part three or whatever the hell <laughs> whatever the hell it was um like as someone who legit legitimately enjoys the night stages that is one stage that i will say is kind of bad uh, because there's nothing really great or interesting about it, and it doesn't really require that much thought. You just kind of mindlessly go around opening the doors, um, and, that, and then after that, that's just the end of the stage. There was nothing really to it. Uh, thankfully, this one's a lot more tricky and interesting. You, we have some tightrope platform type of platforming that requires a lot more patience, um, a lot more... Um, what is it? Well, just general, just more general platforming as a whole. <laughs> so, f by that, by that stretch, it's um, inherently more engaging than the Apatos one. And, I don't know, I like this. It, it's very slow paced, obviously, but um, I do enjoy uh, the tightrope gimmick and how it makes you... It, it, it makes you, like, be a m bit more uh, cautious and thoughtful of what um, all the jumps you're trying to make. So, yeah, it's not a very long stage, but it's, challenge it's challenging enough for this early point in the game, I think. And um, requires, a, quite, uh, requires quite a bit of, quite a bit more... Um, I don't want to say finesse, but there's more going on here than in Apatos, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say, basically. Because you, you, you couldn't, like, I couldn't have just, like, brute forced that. Like, I needed to be careful. And, um, yeah, I, th this isn't the most, like, um, in innovative or creative platforming I've seen in a, in a game but I do think I do think it's uh challenging enough and I, I do think um I, I do oh okay okay I didn't actually know that happened um <laughs> okay 
I guess we're not getting that sun medal. Oh well. No bad. But yeah, this is uh, took way shorter to beat. This is way shorter to beat than Avatos is one, but again, it's just it requires more from the player, so ergo it's more engaging to play, and what the hell is going on with this boss? <laughs> But yeah, uh, normally, we'll, normally you'd f see this guy, like, way later on in the game. Or not way later on, maybe, I think he actually, he or she, because it's like, big mother or something. Um, but, they, it apparently appear, what is it? It does appear in a later night stage. Um, I forget when, but I don't, th I think it's like a few, like, it's like Spagoni or something, you first see it. But yeah, we get to see it a little bit earlier than in than intended, so that's kinda neat. There we go. I'm trying to balance balance the level ups. I'm trying to balance up, up the level ups a little bit. At least as much as I can. Alright, so I don't know if there's anything else we can do here. Um, I believe that's all the stages anyway. Alright, so now that we're done with all that, we now have the choice between either going to Holoska or to Begonia again. Now, something that's kind of interesting is that um, in the Wii version, Every time the, you uh, finish up a part of the game, it tells you to go back to Spagonia to see the professor again, and then he's, and then he's just like, oh, I'll go to these places. Uh, whereas in this version, I don't remember remember if that's if you ever have to really do that. Maybe, I think you have to do that a few times, but what what is nice is that um, you do get these like beacons or whatever that tell you where to go. Um, there's something similar to that in the Wii version, I believe, but, um, again, you need to, um, go back to Spig uh, Spigonia to see the professor, so. That's a cutscene, right? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Forgot where this played for a minute. The one time she gets it right <laughs> and she doesn't think it's actually Sonic. Feels bad, man. There you go, actual emotion. Take that. <laughs> What's it? Uh, Ken Pontac and Graf written games. Yeah, I I digress. But yeah, I, I do I do like the delve more into Sonic's character in the this and Black Knight. It's very refreshing. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a cut to the Wii version because I don't remember how this works at this point in the game. So. Um, I'm just gonna, for this, for the HD one, I'm just gonna go talking around, and I'm not gonna show any of it, um, until, uh, something interesting happens, so, like, I get a town mission or whatever, so there's just gonna be a cut here, so, whether I got a, whether I get a, a town mission, or, 
it's going to cut to the Wii version or whatever, it will happen now. So, see you guys when wh whatever happens. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, oh, so, um, I accidentally skipped f over f over some text, but, yeah, the guy back in Missouri, who said give a gift to the little girl, yeah, we just did that, and, um, we made her happy, I guess. Yeah, I forget what we gave her, but, hey, that's a thing, um, I guess we're gonna have to go back and see that guy at, at some point later, but, yeah, that was a thing, I guess, that's cool. Okay, so, yeah, we didn't see, I didn't find any, um, uh, what is it, uh, I, I didn't find any missions, unfortunately, but, um, yeah, uh, we go back to the professor, to the professor's lab, and one thing of note is that, um, you can buy stuff like a TV, um, a record player, and whatnot, and those are basically there to access the cutscenes, the music, the um, artwork and whatnot in this version of the game. Um, so yeah, we, so yeah, we we've been getting those items in stages, but we ha you can't actually access them right away like in the Wii. You do need to buy buy stuff first, and like what the hell, we. That's interesting, but yeah, uh, you do need to buy that stuff and go to the lab to access it, which I will admit is a bit annoying compared to the Wii version where you just get the stuff and you can immediately use it in the main menu um, on, the, on the world map, um, but it, it, it's, very mi it's a very minor complaint, so... Random pop-ups, getting away. Okay, so we can actually give you souvenirs. Yep, fair. Yeah, so he just gives you a bunch of random tips. <laughs> yeah, so um, once you reach a, I think like a, once you reach like a certain threshold or something, he gives you like a sun moon med or moon medal. Um, so you do need to give him all the souvenirs if you want to get all the medals. You don't. Actually, like the requirement to get all the the me the the medals needed to play all the stages is actually kind of le lenient when you compare compare it to how many medals there are overall. But if you yeah, if you if you do need some uh, leeway, um, then this could give you that, but it, it's not a lot. Yeah, yeah, you know, I have a moon medal as well. So yeah, it, we'll, um... Wait, what, what would happen? What happens if I do hints? Is that just all the ones he's given me so far? 
Oh, it's just all this stuff, okay. Yeah, and the stuff we he told me. Okay, that's cool. That's convenient. I didn't know about that, actually, because I never looked at it, so... The more you know, I guess. So, um, if I haven't cut to the... I, I guess I wouldn't have cut to the Wii version now, but... Um, since we've done all this stuff for HD, um, what happens now is... Um, what is it? We just go to the side here. And yeah, th this game does give you a lot of multiple options a lot of the time. Because we could just, we could do Sp Spagonia Night now. Or we could alternatively do, I think, Holoska Day instead. So, and this is, this goes by for both versions, by the way. Um, so I, I do appreciate that you don't always have to do one specific stage and nothing but that. It sometimes gives you a choice of uh, like two or so stages, usually two, um, and you uh, you eventually are going to have to do both. But I do appreciate the fact that they let you do it in whatever order you want. Um, but yeah, we when we go, when we go through here, we're going to go to another stage hub. Um, so yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna cut to the Wii version because this will be prime time to go to that version. And play the night stages there. So see you guys on the way. <laughs> <laughs>